recording. To avoid the video being too long, this might be fast paced. Please let me know accordingly if this is an issue and I will fix it. Thank you. Welcome to the video. I'm your student, Claire Jennings. This is what I look like. Today's video is a class project which contains a visual representation of three medical careers that I am interested in learning more about. Each career represented in this presentation will show you what I do in the career, the work environment, my education slash licensing slash certification requirements, the average salary, and the future job outlook. Those three careers are pediatrician, which has been my dream career ever since the seventh grade, a pathologist, which is the first medical career I ever considered, and a health unit coordinator, which is a career I had once considered. Those careers will be shown in that order. So let's get started and meet our pediatrician. Good day. I am Dr. Dina Witherspoon and I am currently working as a pediatrician in a clinic. I am responsible for the health of the youth ages 0 to 21. I focus on children with injuries, common illnesses, and infectious diseases. I work with other doctors to collaborate and make the best decisions to take care of a child, as well as ordering tests, prescribing medicines, and discussing test results. I also spend time talking with parents about treatment, care routines, and communicating symptoms. Additional responsibilities are to make children feel safe during physicals, keep track of a patient's history, respect the rules of consent, and judge the symptoms of a patient. I can work in hospitals and clinics and will have to stand for extended periods of time, alongside working directly with children and communicating with parents, guardians, support, and administrative staff. I have to work long hours with possible travel between clinics and hospitals and may share some of my patients with other doctors. I also have to be on call during weekends and after hours and have to use computers, printers, and fax machines to do some of my work. In order to work there, I need a high school diploma, a bachelor's degree or higher, four years of medical school to get my MD, Doctor of Medicine, or DO, Doctor of Osteopathy, a residency with hands-on experience and close supervision for 37 years, a license and a certification by the American Board of General Pediatrics. Altogether, this took me a minimum of 11 and a half years after high school and a maximum of 17 and a half years. I receive an average salary of $183,240 in the U.S., with the minimum being about 68.9K and the maximum being more than $300,000. So far, there is a moderate number of employability opportunities, even though the demand is really high. This is due to the fact that not everybody can take care of children with medicine, as well as the increasing population and obesity rates. You have many subspecialties offered, and whether you work in a low-income town or an overpriced city, there's always employment opportunities. Thank you for your time with me, and now let's say hello to our pathologist. Good morning or afternoon or evening. I'm Rachel Coombs, and I recently just celebrated my second year of being a pathologist. In this career, I analyze test samples using tools in my understanding for diseases to determine a likely diagnosis for a patient and suggest treatment options. I also, of course, check to see if these results are accurate and spend time to conduct research to keep myself updated with the current regulations to identify and treat diseases. I work in offices and laboratories, which includes ventilation, cleanliness, and the equipment I need to work. I almost never engage in contact with the patient themselves, but more with the clinical staff and with the physicians. I also am self-employed in group practices where we focus on business aspects like marketing, supervising, and paperwork. I usually don't work after hours or during my days off. Before I was able to do all of that, I needed a high school diploma, a bachelor's degree or higher, four years of medical school to get my MD or DO, a residency with hands-on experience and close supervision for three to seven years, a license, and a certification by the American Board of Pathology. Altogether, this took a minimum of an 11 and a half years after high school, with a maximum of 17 and a half years. This is almost the exact same requirements that Dr. Witherspoon had to be a pediatrician. So far, I receive an average salary of $200,890 per year, with the minimum being $60.3,000, and the maximum being around $279,000 per year. Luckily, there's a high number of employment opportunities and an even greater demand. Because we are in charge of the diagnosis of patients, we are just as important as the disease itself. Thanks to the wide range of subspecialties, the employment opportunities will continue to grow, especially during these times. Anyway, let's meet our final medical official, our health unit coordinator. Hello there, recording viewers. My name is Ms. Hannah Crystal, and I'm just about ready to retire from my position as a health unit coordinator. Hi, let me put this down. I provide the support in the medical facility for the staff and become known as the Secretary of Medical Care. I am in charge of the organization and the coordination of communication between patients and the staff, and I order supplies and transcribe orders, as well as pull up medical records, grab vital signs, and compile charts. As for communications, I schedule procedures and appointments, phone or in person, 
greet and receive new patients, prepare admissions slash discharge forms, and prepare death and birth certificates. I could work in so many places, hospitals, clinics, agencies, nursing homes, rehab facilities, organizations, and insurance companies. I usually work at a fast pace and require a lot of interaction with both patients and medical staff every day. However, my shift is usually office-based since it involves scheduling, paperwork, and clerical duties. I had the opportunity to work part-time, so I took it. <laughs> my education requirements are drastically different from Dr. Witherspoon and Dr. Coons. All I had to do was get a high school diploma, then complete a training program, which included on-the-job training, classroom instruction, and apprenticeship. This also includes certificate, diploma, and associate degrees within this training. That's it. And this would take about 6 to 12 months after college. I'm covered! During my time here, I received an average salary of $47,888 per year in the U.S., with the minimum being $22.5K and a maximum being $116K. That's not a lot of money compared to the others, which is unfortunate. Luckily, the demand is high since we are the ones responsible for controlling the flow of the patients, keeping track of the supply of the entire facility. We're the HAG organizers, and the demand will rise by 36% in the next decade. Oops, something's person. I almost have to go to work. Yes, unfortunately, that's the time I have. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye. Hi, me again. So this video isn't quite over yet. You still need the resources that I used to get to this point, and there are details on these three careers that couldn't fit into this video. So I attached the notes that I used for this project with this video. I encourage you to take a look. Other than that, that leads to the end of this presentation. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to create a video for this project. I did this 12 times in the 8th grade, so I'm glad I got to do this again one more time. If there are any problems about this video, such as the video being too long or too fast paced or not having enough information, please let me know and I will change that. Bye!